Unless you're running away from home? Um, that's the problem, Jake. This isn't my home. But I just... No, I know that you asked me to move in with you. But that was before so much happened. I, I just think now that Abigail and I should go back to my place, at least for a little while. Molly, look, if I, if I give you the impression that I wanted you no, to leave... No, I... Jake. It's nothing you said, okay? It's just my decision. Why did you make the decision that you have to leave? I don't want to. It's just that I'm over here believing in Vicky. And you're over there thinking the whole thing's crazy. And I'm just hoping, <laughs> hoping that if we just spend some time apart, if, if we stop trying to reach across the gulf that came between us, then maybe neither one of us will fall in. Oh, don't know when's going to fall. Because after what happened today, I, I'm a... I'm a believer. It's not like you haven't heard this before, but you know how I vote. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, I knew you guys would make the right decision. I'm going to go and pack my bag. Some girl you got there. <laughs> yep. I don't know. What, about moving in? About that? About us? About anything, for that matter. Jake, your dead wife just, just came back to talk to you. She just had connections with you. Something that you didn't think could happen, you now believe in. I thought that's what you wanted. I did. I do. I just... You don't have an experience like that and then snap your fingers and your whole life goes back to normal. That just doesn't happen. It's like after a heart attack or after falling down a flight of stairs or something. You come back and you've got to take small steps. You've got to take it slow because whether you know it or not, everything in your life has changed. Because of you. In all kinds of bizarre ways. You want to know the best part? I get to talk to you at the end of every day. Is there something you want to tell me? Hmm? It's about what happened today with Vicky. I just want to make sure that you want to hear it. Owe me an explanation here. I mean, it must have been a very emotional experience for you. It was for me, and I never even met her. I want to tell you what happened. I mean, when I when I saw Vicky, when it was just the two of us, there was... And I know it was part of me that... wanted us to be together. Oh, yeah. you don't have to tell me this. But the woman, the woman that I, that I saw, the, the image, that was just... That was just part of it, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't the, the, the flesh and the blood or the heart or the soul of the, of the woman that I loved. I mean, I, I, Vicky will always be a big part of me. And whatever reason that she's come back here for unfinished business before she can cross over, it is certainly not so she can have me in her life. So why do you think she's here? here with you and Abigail. I let things get in the way with Vicky. And I know if I make the same mistake with you, that... You that... keep pushing me away, though. No, it's, it's not because I'm... It's not because I don't love you. It's because I don't want everything that I'm going through to hurt you. Are you sure you want me here? I mean, are you sure that Abigail yeah, can just come in what? and put you under Let pressure no. because she saw the bag? What do you think I want? Some kind of charity here? The minute I don't want you here, I'm going to kick you out. How do you put up with me? I don't know. I ask myself that every minute of every day. I like you. I like you here. I like looking at your gorgeous face. But you know that I like the way that we. Uh... <laughs> I like the way that we dance. I like the way that we sleep. I like that when we wake up in the middle of the night, we're... Uh... Holding hands? Yes. I like the way that we hold hands. I like your noise. God, you make wonderful noise. I like that no matter what hits the fan, that I've got you to come home to.
What about Vicky? You know, I don't know what the future holds for me. But I know that whatever twists and turns happen, I want them to happen with you. I want us to be like a family. Glad you're back, Jake. This place wasn't the same without you. Not much fun living a double life, is it? What would you know about it? Oh, right, what would I know? There's just a couple who adopted me and raised me, who live half a world away, and then there's Molly and Holden, who I so want to be a part of my life. How do I fit? All these people I love into my life without making the other side feel left out. You're right. And a zip. Hmm. Guess with all those uh, parental units, you don't have much room for me. I can't imagine a girl in the world not having room for a Jake. Well, I'll tell you, I would. Always have room for Abigail. Good. You know, I think it's time to admit that I wasn't going anywhere. See you in the AM. Hey, Jake. Don't try to sneak up on me. I see you there. What are you doing? Spying on me? <laughs> missing you. Mm, how much are you missing me? I want to show you. Hmm, is that right? Where are we going? You're just gonna have to wait and see. Mm -hmm.